Hey everybody, I am the Mighty Plantain. Thanks for tuning in to this week's video. We're doing another beer review. Go ahead and click on that little subscribe button down there. It'll take you to a place where you can subscribe to my channel. You'll be able to catch every video as it comes out. Get an email notification when I post a new one. Uh, lots of beer reviews. Also some liquor reviews. Some uh, downright wacky shit. And uh, if you check out the playlist labeled Regrets, you'll be able to watch me abuse myself for, uh, for your education and amusement. So tonight... We are checking out a new beer from Dogfish Heads, Beer to Drink Music to. Um, interesting take. I'm sure there's a story there about beer to drink music to. Uh, it's a Belgian-style triple. And, let's see, it's a Belgian-style ale brewed with sweet orange peel, green cardamom, and peppercorns and vanilla. So, should be a pretty spicy brew. It doesn't talk much about the hops, so there's nothing there to really interfere with the spices that have been blended in there. And as an ale, it's going to pick up those spices really well. We're going to check this one out. Now, it is 9% alcohol by volume, so one of those ones that you got to be really careful with, especially if it's a smooth brew, which Dogfish Head usually is. While I'm pouring this out, make sure to hit me up with a like and a share down there. Make sure that everybody it's a chance to see these videos post them to your Facebook timeline help me out want to get more subscribers one of these days maybe I'll be able to quit my day job doubtful but hey one can dream right anyway thanks to those of you who do share and like and uh, and subscribe so it is a very clear beer it's not very cloudy it's got an amber color to it but it's uh it's more of a golden amber uh maybe a honey color with some brown tints in there but very very clear you can see right through it even with all that color it's quite effervescent it's looking pretty good i may have screwed up the head there because it's looking a little flat but it is it is bubbling from the bottom of the glass pretty nicely Mostly getting that orange peel in the aroma. I'm getting that um, not really a sweet aroma or a citrus aroma, but it's more of that that uh, fruit rind smell. It's difficult to describe. It's difficult to compare to anything else. But if you had a, an orange peel sitting there, and if you could imagine it not smelling of of citrus, then that's kind of what I'm getting. Maybe a hint of the peppercorn coming through in the aroma. That is extremely smooth. Um, so yeah, with it being 9% alcohol by volume, you do need to be very, very careful with this one. Um, Oh, so easy to drink so easy to drink um, I can definitely imagine myself chilling out to some of my favorite music just sitting somewhere um, at home in a nice comfy chair listening to some good music and just drinking a few of these uh, maybe the whole four pack although with that high alcohol by volume you know, it is very smooth um, in the the back end of the beer there is a little bit of that hint of the heavy alcohol content you get that that slightly sour another difficult to describe taste but it's uh you you know if you've ever drank an imperial or the heavy abv beers it, it's just that very distinct high alcohol content taste to it but again it's just a hint of it in the back end up front it's very very smooth for me there's a little bit of sweetness there um, i am getting a tinge of the vanilla as well primarily what's getting me on in the taste um, and not necessarily as I swallow but afterwards um, as I'm talking and, and I'm getting some airflow in my mouth that that peppercorn is really coming through um, so a little bit of the sweetness and some citrus from the orange peel the hint of vanilla just blending with that as you swallow it but then that peppercorn really coming out and uh, and being very forward um, afterwards Overall, this is a very good beer. 
Uh, it's got a complexity to the taste and a very nice light mouthfeel, very easy to drink. Um, it's unique and different. It's not quite blowing me away, um, but I am really enjoying it. It's very well balanced. It, it's all coming together really well. I'm going to hit this with a four and a half out of five, um, just because it's a great beer. It's really incredible, but it, it's not giving me anything to really push it to that wow, um, that wow factor. There's a buzzword I don't like using because it feels like a, because it is a buzzword. But uh, anyway, a really, really great beer. Uh, make sure you check it out. Hit me up down in the comments below or the email link. I want to know if you agree or disagree. Uh, if you've got a beer that you want to see uh, reviewed, also hit me up there. Let me know what's up. And we'll see what we can do about getting it on there. Until next time, folks. Cheers. Thanks for the beer, man. So highly recommended by you. Extreme Beer Fest this weekend. We'll be able to get a hold of, I believe it's the American...